Hello guys, this is Pac-Man Vice. I'm sorry if you can hear any background noises. There is a dog, a dog barking out there somewhere. Um, but this is basically a really, really quick and short tutorial for Shift Window. Um, there is a link in the description to a video that gives you tips and tricks to it as well as a short tutorial. Um, but this is just for the quick one because nobody likes watching 17 minute long videos, do they? Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the program. Uh, we got the name of this. Here's your, all your rules. You can increase the rules. You can have less rules. You can do whatever. You can change the name of these rules to name or whatever. Here's your trigger button. This this applies whatever settings you put on. We got our windows. This basically chooses what when. What window you want to change the size of? It does not work for full screen games. It does not work for anything like that. It'll work for games, but it won't work for full screen applications. So it'll just change the size of the screen and the location of the screen and other stuff, which helps for if you cannot manually do it yourself. Like with most Steam games, there are some Steam games where it's stuck in one screen position and you cannot change it, and that really, really sucks. So I'm going to go ahead and, oh no, I'm going to show you more about this first. You know, you can do that. You can either do, you can do one or the other or both. I like doing both to make sure it's secure and you're not changing multiple things that have the same name on accident. Shift 2 allows you to change the position and the size of the screen to a specific location. So if I wanted to take it to the, or this right here, zero, 00 is up here in the corner. This is your zero, 00 location up here. If I wanted to put negatives, it'll just take it off screen. A negative number, and, you know, just take it backwards. Uh, I'm not sure what this number is over here. I'm using a 1920 by 1080p screen, so you know, as you can see, 1920 by 1080p. That's my full screen. Um, you can easily change the numbers. I like doing it 1280 by 720 because, well, if you can't record in 1920 by 1080p uh, or 720, whatever. 1080p in full screen then what are you going to do? You're going to record in the next one down for another high quality video, right? At least I do. Um, you can set the size client area. Uh, <coughs> it's basically the same thing. Or you can just change it to full screen which will try to make it full screen which works in most applications but in games like Realm of the Titans it will not it'll just leave a blank uh, I left it you can see an example on the other video that I have up there anyway a trigger you can either trigger it by hotkey you need to have an alt or a control connected to it I think maybe shift to I don't know if shift works shift does work so it's got to be a combination so I can't just hit like C or B or dot to do to dot to do it's got to be like control C or like Alt C or maybe even Shift C or something like that. This is for all you got to do is you know you just hit the button and boop, it actually starts doing it. Automatic is automatically when the file is there. So basically, if the program starts after however long the the game it actually starts, it'll automatically apply the rule to it. So say after it starts, five seconds after it starts, it's going to apply that rule. Five seconds after it refreshes, it's going to apply that rule. Um, I'm going to ahead and go grab something real quick. How about, uh, you can't see that, you can't see that, you can't see that, you can't see that. Uh, you can't see that. Let's go ahead and do Steam. Why not? Steam right here in the background. There. Now, now it'll actually tell you what to do. Within uh, within five seconds after the window is created, so after the window pops up, or five seconds after it's opened or activated. Activated, I'm guessing, means you click on it. Four, five. Maybe, maybe not click on it. Yeah, look, there it is. There you go, five seconds. That was a really slow five seconds, actually. Um, and it put it in full screen because I believe it's still... Darn it. Yeah, it's set to full screen, 1920 by 1080p. Uh, we got a trigger. And change the size again. Full screen, minimize. There you go. And automatic, I believe, it continues to do it, so maybe I'll shorten the delay. <laughs> it's annoying. 
there. And you lower it. I think it, like after a couple seconds, it's going to do it again. Just pop it straight back up. Click back on it. And it's going to go poof. There you go. Or you can just hit the trigger button and it'll automatically do it yourself. If you do it only on manual, there is no hotkey, there is no automatically doing it. It's just whenever you push the button, it'll do it. I'm going to go ahead and try the Shift C on the program. I don't think Steam likes the Shift button anyway. Let's go ahead and try Control C. Control C. Oh no, that's, that's copy. I don't want copy. Uh, control. I don't know what L does. I'll just do Alt. Alt L, because I don't think it does anything. So Alt L, pow, right in the kisser. That's basically it. Um, I don't want to close this out to it itself, but that's basically it. This is an extremely shorter video on how to do things. You can also come over here, save it. If I were you, and I'm not, but I would change and make a folder for it because it automatically tries to save itself in my documents. What you should do is you should hit this little button here, create a new folder, name it, I don't know, shift window or shift window rules or whatever the heck you want to name the program, and then just save it in here. This way, say if I close it out, because when you close it and you reopen it, you're back to my rule and it, there's nothing set to it. So you come over here, you file open. You load it and it's already got all your presets uh, I like that I'm not sure what set size client is for I honestly do not know what that actually is for um, basically what I think it is is it's basically two different settings <laughs> like I said I ain't got the cl I, I have no idea I have to do more search on that. I probably should find out what it is to put it in the tutorial, but if I ever do find out, I'll just throw it in the description, if I even care. Right now, it doesn't really do much for me, so... <clears throat> anyway, enough rambling. That's the tutorial for Shift Window. You can watch the, my other video that's in the description to get more tips and tricks on it. I'll sh I show you how to... Uh, how to change it, how to... Um, like. It, any of the errors that you get, maybe not errors, but if you get any screen difficulties, like you're changing it to 1280, but it's the screen recording is shorter than that, it's because it uses the whole thing. You can just go check out that video too. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace.